Hello people, welcome back to the channel. It has been two months since we've made a video in the forest and guess where we are today? Back in the forest. We've come back to the drop that was the feature of last video that we made in the forest. The whole track's been covered in pine needles so we've just spent how long now? An hour and a half just raking, sweeping, digging a little bit um, to make the trail back to back to rideable, back to looking pristine. The dirt condition is very very good so it looks very nice as you can see. Oh Get damn! Break up a bit of that. This sexy little feature. <laughs> this number? <laughs> this this little sexy little number? number. Yeah. So the plan today is we're still going to be working on this trail um, but we're going to be extending it and improving this drop feature. We think that this is a little bit small, it's not really exciting enough. Uh, you kind of just roll over it, it's only about a, just over a bike length long anyway. So we're going to increase the drop and carry on the trail down to some more exciting stuff like a bit of a little sort of wrap and then a hip, little hip thing on the bank. That's the plan. Sounds good to me. Should crack into it? Yeah, crack into it. made a bit of a change to what used to be pretty much a flat drop onto this old logging road. Last time in the drop video you would have seen us just plopping off the end here and like washing out in this kind of mucky topsoil. We decided instead of making this another cool feature we would just have the trail slow down a bit and now you kind of drop and then catch into a bit of a cornery chute and that's going to send us down the road into the next feature. Oh yeah. Cool, so this is our little mini motorway into what's going to be a kind of left hand hip slash quarter pipe slash berm. We're going to leave it fairly natural but we might just carve in one lip in the middle and then you can kind of go from that to whichever landing spot you want. There's a few different options. You could probably, once this is running a bit faster, you can probably come right on the right hand side and then use it as a berm the whole way across or just jump from the middle and then kind of like do a bit of a 90 degree turn and then land down there and that sets us up for a insane drop into this like ravine that's off to our left so that's why we've kind of gone with this quite tight s shape is uh just basically to set up for that and also to slow the trail down a bit so it feels longer when you do full lap but we are going to finish this and then we're going to do some riding which we're both very keen to do very keen we've been digging for mm. a while okay bada bing bada boom Oh, and I cased it again. Oh, that's... Alright. I have to ride the chute for the first time. There's a serious amount of GoPro effect going on here. It is quite scary. Oh, and he's off to a good start. This is straight. Oh, yeah. That looks, that looks pretty all good. Until I clip my bar on this. Yeah. No, you don't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Bro, there's way more grip than there looks. Yeah. Oh, that was sick. Ooh. 
a little bit slippy. Damn. <laughs> well, at least that roll in's yeah. good. Yeah. I gave it a little flip. Yeah. All right. First run where I'm planning to drop into the new big drop. It's definitely a lot bigger than last time. I'm kind of just, I think I'm just going to ignore how big it is. Oh man, it was sick. It was really good. The landing is like so soft. So you don't, you barely even feel it when you land. And I couldn't even see the lip of the landing when I did it, like just in my head. I just took off this and then I was like, oh yeah, I should be landing at some point. And then I felt like I could start braking and I could. It was like really weird. It was not as big as we thought or it looks. It still feels like you're just kind of rolling off. But that's all good. We could keep making it bigger. But I don't think we need to. It's like perfect for the run out. Yeah, true. But this is still a really heavy compression, like all the way to the end of this, pretty much. From the start of the transition, you're just like pushing into your bike, which is, that's what adds technicality to this because you really have to take that into account when you're yeah. riding off here. Oh, that was better. Oh, oh my god. Oh man. That yeah, is a compression. Yeah. Did you go quite far right? Um, right is right, yeah. Yeah. To straighten it up? Yeah. This is actually quite scary. <laughs> I really should have done it last time. Yeah, you really should have. But it's also not that like if you soak up off the takeoff mm. it doesn't feel that different okay. to the last time it just means that you can if you want to pop off yeah. the takeoff you can really like float all the way down mm. oh, right. I am quite nervous oh. you ready? Oh my god! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Holy crap! Oh! <laughs> well, you know, we're rolling. Oh, are we? Yep. Is that so? You ready? Yep. Get it, bud. Oh, I couldn't see nothing. <laughs> Whoa! I got so much dirt in my eye off the first step down because it all came off yeah. the wheel. And it went into me. <laughs> and then I. Oh. Oh. One ladder. Buddy. Yeah! I love to see it. That was the slowest I've ever 
most crash I've had in all. <laughs> oh, but look, your bike's pointing exactly where we're going in the next episode. Man, what the f I think we're gonna need a berm. <laughs> I need a bear. So do I. Should we just call it there? We're calling it there. That's us. See you next time. And what should they do? Oh yeah, probably like and subscribe. Yeah, that would. We really need that after this day. Yeah, that'd be that'd be nice. That'd be nice. All right. <laughs>